Hey, welcome back to part two of the Laravel URL shortener series. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be creating the uh, link model, the migration for link, the link factory, and also the general database seeder I'm going to need for just testing purposes. In the video after this, we're going to be doing some test driven development for Livewire. And so having those factories ready is going to be very handy. And obviously we're going to need migration sooner or later. So in this video, we're going to create those. I'm going to keep these videos as short as I possibly can and just packed with information so we can get started right away. Uh, first thing I want to do is actually create the migrations and we're going to have to start by just creating a migration file. So PHP artisan make migration create links table. And that should be available in here. Create links table. It is. So we're not going to need to change the down method because that'll drop the whole table if it exists and that's perfect. Uh, but we will need to add quite a few columns in here. So uh, the first one I want to create is the user ID, which will obviously need to store the user ID because a link needs to belong to a user, right? So we can make this a foreign ID called user ID and we want to constrain this. Okay. The next one we need is the actual URL. And so this one's easy. We'll just make it a string URL. And that should obviously not be nullable. It needs to have a URL or else what's the point of making a shortened link? After this, we're gonna need the slug. And the slug is the ending of the URL that's shortened. So it'd be like your domain slash the slug. And so in our case, we want this to be also a string. And we want this to be a little bit different. We want this to be unique because it Obviously, we cannot have two of the same slugs. Otherwise, we don't know which one to redirect to. And the next one is a Boolean is enabled. I want to be able to enable and disable links on the go uh, to make them work or not work, redirect or not redirect. And that's where we're going to track that. And we're also going to let make this default true. I want it to be enabled just by default. So that's how you do that. And the last one is the table integer redirects. And what redirects is is just a count of how many redirects has been done through this link, link, this shortened link. So we're going to track that here and we're also going to default this to zero. And that is our migrations file. Now if we run PHP artisan migrate and go back into our SQL Pro, go to links, we can see that we have this table. Now it's just a matter of filling this table with data, which we're going to accomplish with uh, first a model, then a link factory, and then the database seeder. So let's continue on. Let's run PHP artisan make model link. Now Laravel already kind of, it already has a user model, which we can see here. What's new in Laravel 8 is that we have this has factory trait, which means that factories work a little bit differently, but I'm a big fan of how they work now. They're much easier to create seeders with, and I'll show you how to do that. What I want to do in here is actually create a relationship. So I have a shortcut here for this. I want to call this links. And the reason I want to call this links is because we want to return this has many link class. And then we don't actually need to import this because they're in the same directory uh, right here, models, and then the, uh, the models in here. And so this is a has many relationship because link stores the user ID, which means that on the link model, we can actually define this now on the link model, um, the a link belongs to a user. So we can call this user and return this belongs to user colon colon class. And I'm also going to go ahead and just define guarded as empty array so that we don't have any filling issues. And I think that's enough for our uh, link model. We can actually go ahead and generate a factory now. But before I do that, I want to show you that we already have a user factory created. This, this just comes with Laravel. And so what's happening is uh, when we run the user factory, it'll generate a user with a fake name, a fake email, uh, verify that now, uh, a random token. And also it'll just, it has a hard coded uh, string here that basically is just password uh, because obviously passwords are hashed and that is what the hashed password looks like. And so now that we've seen this, let's go ahead and create the link factory. So PHP artisan make factory link factory. Let's open this up. 
and within here make sure that your model is defined as the model you actually want to create uh, it's actually intelligent enough to know to kind of guess which model you're talking about based on the name of how you name it but you could define it just um, to whatever model you want to in our case we want to just return um, we want to just basically set user ID we want to set the URL and the slug uh, in our case we have the other columns are in, is enabled and also the uh, the redirects count but those default have default values which are true and zero so we don't need to really include them in the link factory and I don't think through the course of this series we'll need to set those through the factory so I think we'll be fine just doing it this way and so the first thing we want to set is the user ID and we could just make this set to the fa uh, user factory and this time around we need to make sure that that's actually imported the next one is uh, URL so this is the target URL that we're going to redirect to and we can just generate a random one here lucky for us we could actually just use faker so this faker URL I believe that'll work and we need a slug so uh, for slug I'm just gonna make a, a random string so string uh, random six and we got to make sure that that's actually imported and we need the illuminate support string class and looks like we have everything user as well and so this cedar is this factory rather is actually done and now all that's left to do basically is just configure the database cedar and this is actually very interesting so Laravel out of the box actually includes this line that's just commented out creating a user actually creating 10 users uh, with, the, with the included user factory what, what I want to do is actually use the user factory and use the new uh, relationship methods to create links for the user right away within the same chained command sort of and so what I'm going to do first is just do user colon colon factory we're going to make sure user is imported which I would think oh it wasn't okay and so user factory on the new line arrow has and in here I'm going to use link factory and count and I'm going to make 500 links for this user and of course we can make multiple users with multiple links but I just want one user to test with the next thing is arrow create and we're going to pass in an, an array and we're going to set name to user and the email to user at test.com something just easy to remember and like I said before this is going to default to password for password and now if we run PHP artisan DB seed go into our database here and refresh we can see we have 500 URLs and they all link to the same user and so this is good enough for now if we actually log in to the site with user at test.com and the password is password it's it logs in so it's a real user everything's uh, created correctly of course this dashboard looks exactly the same as when we logged in before with no links created because we're not showing any links and so that's not gonna be the next video the next video is actually a really exciting one I'm gonna be writing uh, tests that are kind of live wire specific uh, in a test driven way which is uh, all the rage in the Laravel community so uh, if you're interested in that, I will see you in part three of this series.